Hi, I'm Chef Peter Sclafani from Rafino's Restaurant in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Today we're going to cook shrimp and grits, which is a southern classic. It's also a dish that's featured on our brunch menu. So to start the dish, we have our pan preheated, and we're going to put a little bit of good olive oil in there. And now we're going to add our tasso. Tasso is a Cajun spice pan. It's really uh, seasoned well on the outside and cured, and it's great for uh, getting that, that great smoke flavor with a little extra Creole seasoning in it. Um, if you don't have tasso, you can use any other kind of smoked ham. Uh, bacon would work well, um, as well as andouille sausage. So once we begin to render our tasso, we're going to add some diced onions. And we're going to cook these for just a second. We're not really looking to get any color on them. We just want to begin to bring out some of the sweetness on the onions. You just want to keep the pan moving so your, uh, your onions don't start to burn. Okay, now we're going to add some garlic. And it's important that you don't let your garlic burn because garlic will have a tendency to turn brown and then it gets bitter. You only want to cook garlic for about one minute just so that the oils begin to release. This just smells great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add our shrimp. So we have some beautiful, beautiful uh, gulf shrimp. With the heads on, they're about a nine count shrimp. And they come out to um, about a 16, 20 headless shrimp after they've been peeled and deveined. So the great thing about shrimp is they tell you when they're done. As you can see, they're already beginning to turn pink. So our next ingredient is one of my favorites. It's Creole tomatoes. And I'm picking these up from St. Bernard Parish. I drive down to St. Bernard once or twice a week to pick up these gorgeous Creole tomatoes. And Creole tomatoes are tomatoes that are grown in the alluvial soil south of New Orleans um, on either side of the river. So I get mine on the east bank from Mr. Gallo, who's been growing them for my family for generations. Now we're going to deglaze with a little dry white wine and this is going to start to build our sauce. So now we want to take all of the brown remnants in the pan that were kind of sticking to the pan. You don't have to worry about those. That's not, it's not burning there. That's building, that's going to start building the flavor for our sauce. So as we're deglazing, we're just going to stir the bottom and get those, those wonderful brown bits up and get that great flavor from the tasso and the onions and garlic in here. So as far as herbs go, my favorite herb for this dish is some thyme. So here we have some fresh thyme. And then we're going to add some Creole seasoning. And you can start to see our colors really coming together. Those tomatoes and that Creole seasoning really starting to blend. We're not going to add any salt and pepper because the Creole seasoning already has a lot of salt and pepper in it. So as you can see this sauce is beginning to thicken up nicely as it's reducing. So now we're going to add some, uh, some heavy cream and now we're going to just let that come up to a boil and it just has to reduce for a minute. Okay, so now we're going to turn down our stove just a little bit and we're going to add some of our parsley and green onions and then we're going to finish it with just a, um, a little piece of butter and what we want to do is we want to emulsify that butter into our sauce. So if we just sat here and let the, the sauce boil without stirring it, you'd get an oil slick of butter on top. So we want to keep that, uh, keep that sauce moving and it's a really great way to finish a pan sauce with just a piece of butter at the very end. So 
So once our butter is fully emulsified into the sauce, we can remove it from the heat. And here I have a plate with some grits. Now because we're an Italian restaurant, we're using polenta as our grits today. But any kind of grits that you like would work well here. I'm going to take some of our, our beautiful Gulf shrimp and our great little pan sauce. And set that up together. So here we have Italian style shrimp and grits. I look forward to seeing you at Rufino's soon.